This place is absolutely incredible. But there's no Indominus anywhere. Was the professor really lying to me? I can't see a reason why he would tell me to protect the Indominus for there to be no Indominus here. Unless it's been taken or stolen? No, wait, hang on a second. There's some kind of a gap there. Oh god. I think it might have escaped. Right, okay, well, the, the only thing that I can do is go around the other side of the mountain here and try to find out where that goes. Um, I think... Oh, I'll check these books first, just in case. I don't... If, if it's if it's out there already, then, it, then I, the last thing I want to do is actually go and find it. But it looks like all these books are exactly the same. Or rather, nothing interesting for us. Anyway, DNA basics? No, nothing I really care about. Um, oh, hang on a second. We've got a quarry. A combustion engine and a landmark. That's definitely something we can use. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it is time to make a new Jurassic World. We've got a scientist diary. How to science. I guess these must all be by future calf. And we've got two pieces of Indominus meat. 100% DNA quality. So they were successful. 100% DNA quality means that that could be put into an embryo. We've got some eggs on us right now. So we could make an Indominus Rex literally as we speak. They did it! They managed to get the DNA. So did they just get all the DNA and not actually not actually hatch an Indominus? Maybe, I guess. Let's give this book a read. Let's see if we can find out what's going on here. Day one. The project has finally been funded. The professor has been waiting so long for this moment and now it's finally here. Today marks the beginning of the future. The Genetic Construction Project Begins. That's quite a nice title. It's kind of long, but pretty cool. Day 2. The Genetic Construction Project has taken on a nickname. It only took a whole day for people to get tired of saying that long title, so we're now calling it the GCP. Well, that's a better name, even better. Progress is slow, but it's still progress. That makes sense. Okay. I know you guys managed to get some DNA together. Did you manage to hatch an Indominus? Day 12. We've made some real strides in these past couple of weeks. The professor has been working tirelessly in the outpost trying to successfully extract DNA from fossils to combine, but it's proving difficult. Day 56. Thanks to some work we have found by another zoologist, Calf. Wait, that's me! Does he mean me Calf or future Calf? We have unlocked a key to taking DNA and splicing it into embryos. Strange though. His workshop was wrecked and abandoned. That must have been me in the past. That must have been one of the past exhibits that we've been working on. Because we have successfully managed to work out how to get dinosaurs out of fossils. But, wow. That means that their work here is my doing. Day 355. Today is the eve of the anniversary of the GCP. We have all worked so hard and miss our families dearly. However, the project has been a success. We finally have a spliced specimen ready to hatch. Wow. So they did manage to hatch one then, right? Day... She hatched! Something... something contained! Something... something... enclosure? Something... something... danger? And the... Uh, uh, camouflage? Remember me. So they were attacked. Oh my god. Day percentage up pound. Okay. So on my keyboard, percentage is 5. The up arrow is 6. And then the pound sign is 3. Day 563? That's 6 months after they managed to get it sorted and put a specimen ready to hatch. Did it take them that month? I guess. It does take a while to get specimens to hatch if you don't have the, the proper tools and machines to do it. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is go around and try and find out if an Indominus is around there anywhere. We've got plenty of torches, so if it's dark, it looks like it might be dark outside right now. We've got this quarry as well. Is it time, guys? The professor said he needed us to protect the Indominus, so does that mean that we've got to spend some time here? Do we make a new Jurassic World? Can I open the door? Yes, I can. Okay, thanks for that. Right, there's a spider here, which I'm going to try to not attack. Let's see if we can avoid these guys completely. Oh, this is look, this is good. This is fine. Oh, there's a creeper there as well. Oh no, one's got us. Get out! Get get out! Get out! No, no! Oh god. Okay, okay. I'm not used to fighting things 
It's been so long since we've done any Minecraft. No, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, no, this is not good. It's still this creeper here. Okay, we managed to get that one. The creeper wants to go. No! Oh, he lights up when he's about to go. Oh, my God, that is amazing. Oh, well, he went, and now there's a little zombie as well. Get out of here, little zombie. No. Okay, all right. We managed to take him out. God, those creepers are going to be very dangerous. Oh, oh, Enderman, Enderman, Enderman. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Okay. All right. Looks like day's actually just breaking, so the monsters shouldn't be too much of a problem here for us. Oh, wow. I think I can see what's happening. The water's wearing away at this dirt here. Okay, well, that should be pretty easy to fix. I just... Hang on. I can hear something. Let me get rid of this water. There we go. I can definitely hear something. Hello? Di dinosaur? Are you... Are you down here? Oh, there's definitely an Indominus around here somewhere. I think it's coming from inside the hole, though. Does that mean there is one in the exhibit? Oh, hang on. I've got to take out this skeleton. Come on. Don't... Oh, I'm not very well equipped. I'm only wearing mud. I'm literally only wearing mud. Please don't attack me. Okay. All right. Oh, no! No! Oh. Wow, this place is very, very dangerous. I'm a bit scared, actually, to be fair. There's some water up there as well. Look at that. Huh. Wow. Okay, well, this is where the exhibit is. Are you actually still inside here? Hello? Dinosaur? Ah! I heard something move. Did you hear that big foot? Oh, I can hear it. Big footprints. Oh, there is! How did we not spot that? Okay, all right, sensible move here is to cover that hole up so that the Indominus can't get out. We have got plenty of dirt here. Let's just try and reinforce this a little bit. So I'm kind of worried that it's going to try and get out again. There we go. There we go, and we'll use this last piece here. No, I need that piece. Hey, zombie, you're going to stay out there, I'm afraid. Okay, well, that's reinforced now. It's only dirt temporarily. But, I mean, if this exhibit is, is breaking apart like that... Well, it's not even an exhibit, really. It's like a lab. We can't leave the Indominus in here. We're going to have to move him. We're going to have to make an exhibit and move the Indominus. Oh, man. I did not sign up for this. Okay. Let's go back in again. Can we see him? Is he definitely inside this exhibit? Yeah. There he is. Look. Oh, he's so good at camouflage. Look at that. Wow. Let's go around the side here see if we can get a closer look. Mr. Indominus... Are you there? He is. There he is, look. You can just about see him. Oh, wow. I need to get some, like, binoculars or something so I can see him a bit closer. For now, though, I think I definitely need to leave him inside because that's a bit worrying. So what do we do, then? Well, I guess, I mean, we've, we've been given this quarry. So, I mean, we could use the quarry to go ahead and make or get the materials that we need to make ourselves a new exhibit. That should give us loads of resources. And then once we've got these resources, do we want to make a new Jurassic World? Are we going to start splicing new DNAs and start working on new dinosaurs? I'm pretty sure if we use the quarry to dig underground for us, we'll find some new fossils that we could work on. Is it time for a new exhibit? Oh man, it's been so long. I don't even know if I can do it anymore. We spent so much time working on the last Jurassic World that making a new one seems... Almost crazy. But I tell you what, the lands here are beautiful. Hang on. Wait. That's the that's the village that we came from, right? Well, the blood's gone. P professor, are you still up here? Are you okay? P profess professor? Hang on. What's going on? Is that... Well, the machines are all still here. And the chairs... And the readme box is still here. But everything else is gone. Oh, this is a beautiful world. We've got some acacia over here. Some interesting little biomes there. Very flat lands that we can work with. This is actually, to be fair, a prime place to start working on an enclosure for Jurassic World. Okay. You know what? I think it's time. Let's see if we can go back and find... Ah, oh, what were their names? We had Brian, and we had Zidane, I think, as well. Are they in the in the village? 
I'm not seeing any of this blood. I mean, it could have it could have been like wiped away by the rain or something, but it doesn't make sense. I really can't work it out, guys. Have was I dreaming? There's no blood here either. Let's retrace our steps. It was this way. Was it this way? No, that's where our, that's where our house was. That's where we started. Is is Doug's bed still inside here? Hang on, Doug, are you here? Hello. Oh, I heard a dog bark. Oh, look at the adorable little bulldoggy. That's a Frenchie. Oh, you're so gorgeous. Hello. Have you got an owner? Have you got... I haven't got any bones. So I can't take it with me, I'm afraid. Also, I do already have a dog. I need to sort out a, a place to live before I start thinking about taking new doggies with me. Aha! Doug is still here. Okay. So that's still Doug's bed. Um, My bed's up there still. So this, this place exists. But Zidane's gone. And the blood's gone. Doug, what's been going on? Have you have you been messing with things? What have you done? What have you what have you what are you doing to change this place? You're, you're, you're messing with it, aren't you? Oh dear. Brian? You, Brian, you can come out now, they Brian? Doug, I think something's gone very, very wrong. I think I may have been imagining things. Or I think we may have done a bit of time travelling. I I don't know. But what I do know is I haven't been brought here by mistake. There's definitely a reason for me to be here. And that reason is to look after that Indominus Rex and create a new Jurassic World. You've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget Get to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget. Get to check out all of our other videos!